Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to verify the game file. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. For this, make a right click on the game, go to properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check still not working. The next step is to try DX12 in the launch option and then you can check still not working. Remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to turn on G-Sync or FreeSync. So you can uh, NVIDIA card users can go to NVIDIA control panel and then you can disable G-Sync. You can uncheck it and then launch the game. AMD users can disable the free sync and then check next step is to turn off monitors adaptive refresh rate so if if your monitor has this option you can just turn it off and then check next step is to disable or enable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game go to properties and then go to general tab if this is on turn it off and then check if it is already off then you can turn it on and then check also close all all the other overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay now if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings and over here you will see settings you can turn off nvidia overlay so you can go to settings and if nvidia overlay is on you can turn it off and then close nvidia app and then check now the next step is to also close all kinds of overlay application uh, do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert unit or any kind of overclocking application running you can close it and then check close all the third party application and services from your computer the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have amd card go to amd website if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website and then select your model number uh, like select your graphic card your operating system and then click on fine now on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver so whichever is the latest geforce game ready driver you can click on view and then you can click on download over here and once the download is complete uh, you can run this exe file once you run this exe file uh, you will see this click on yes to allow and then click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and once it is done then restart your build and after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings over here now click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder dispatch folder binaries win64 select this select this exe file click on add once the game is added over here now click on the game and select high performance over here Again, click on add desktop app and then go back, select the first exe file over here and then again, scroll down, click on the game, select high performance. Next step is to now desktop users, make sure that you connect your HDMI or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage browse local files this will take you to the game installation folder and then make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work open dispatch folder binaries win 64 then make a double click over here launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working go to properties this time you can try windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then go back and then make a double click make a right click on this exe file click on run as administrator and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see visual studio file you have to download this x86 and x64 download both the file and then run this exe file 
if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and once done you can close this restart in bear and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to try debug mode now for this you can go to desktop make a right in the desktop go to show more option and then click on nvidia control panel and then go to help option and put a check on debug mode put a check over here and then relaunch the game and then check still not working restore the settings in, in, in nvidia control panel so go to manage 3d settings global settings restore yes and at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply and then once this is done now relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to use intel driver and support assistant now for this you can go to intel website go to the official intel driver and support assistant website download it and then you install it so in my case i already have this downloaded so you can install this and once this is installed you can launch intel driver and support assistant on your computer and once you launch it it will scan your computer and if there is any update you will see download all and then update all in my case right now it's uh, installing that's why i see this uh, but once this is done you can launch it and then it will scan your computer and then you can install the updates and then restart you can be restarted you must after this and then you can check next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate like suppose your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz you can try 120 hertz or maybe 60 hertz and then check disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor disable onboard graphics drive uh, graphics adapter make a right click on the start menu go to device manager now if your computer has a dual graphic card and uh, one is intel like integrated other one is the discrete one you can disable the integrated one you can make a right click and then you can disable device and then relaunch the game and then check once done playing the game you can make a right click and then you can enable the device once again next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus allow the game exe file like it. if you're using windows security go to privacy and security windows security and then virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow add an allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open again add browse all apps add both both the exe file this one also and then type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel and then system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings and then allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again allow another app browse and then select both the exe file open add in my case it is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working update windows to the latest version now for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update and security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel hardware and sound power options now over here if you see power saver option like this you can select power saver relaunch the game and then check you can even uh, try balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number like example if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have a lenovo computer go to lenovo website whichever brand you have go to their website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then go to driver space download the bios and then install it in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer when you update the bios next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings 
the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total RAM in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in via advanced system settings again and then click on via advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on OK OK you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on OK follow the next step now still not working uh, the next step is to you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game. If you are able to launch the game, you can try window mode, lower down video settings and then you can check. Now the next step is to unplug all the external devices like if you have OTAS, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect extra controller connected to the computer, disconnect external keyboard and mouse. If you have key chrome, razor hand span, if you can, you can disconnect it and then check. Remove the undervolt if you have undervolted the computer. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, make a right click, manage, uninstall. After the uninstall, you can reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.